things to fit in the shop. Lay it in this table. Alright, rudder is done. Glassed and ready for the owner to fare and gel coat and barrier coat and all the things that you do. We also pulled the uh, table that was over there. Really cool chop block table. And we shortened it, put a new piece on and yes. Um, and put all of our things that's going in the trailer over here. That this stuff. This spot had been filled. This is the aperture for where the engine used to be on this big boat where the shaft came through. And they filled it with regular styrofoam. So we dug all that out and put structural foam. And now just going to glass that, let the uh, epoxy dry, and uh, and glass that all in. I mean a drill gun. Huh? What's the first thing you do if you're cleaning a little epoxy off of a drill gun? Take the freaking battery out. Yeah, it'll, it'll catch on fire. That spark in there? Oh, this one ain't so bad. But some of them, they spark really bad in there. And I've had them, if you got a little alcohol or something, I've had them catch my gloves on fire. Just a little warning to you people out there. Don't be cleaning your drill and actually pull the trigger. If you got alcohol, that shit is flammable. And that spark will set your gloves on fire. I had, I had it happen once, it was scary. It caught everything on fire. <laughs> Tell the story, Pete. <laughs> well, the sun was going down and I just got done doing a big, something, screwing something together with epoxy and it was, a mess and so I had to clean my it wasn't that bad but I got epoxy on my screw gun so I, obviously I didn't want the trigger to get stuck so I'm cleaning it and like this and the and the thing is in you know that was in here and I pushed it and it sparked and everything caught on fire <laughs> and I was like <laughs> Pete's Does that got to anyone else Pete's got stories, man. You should hear some of the stories of Pete's. <laughs> um, going in there. So this is just a test run. <laughs> but uh, we found that if we took off, we took off some of the stuff that was on this, on this door here. And we found that the door wouldn't stay open because the weight would actually keep the door uh, from closing back up. So Pete's favorite table over here, a chop block, really cool table. We cut it down to size. We're going to test it and see if we can, we're going to, it's just going to be screwed right now. We're going to, hopefully the screws hold for this test. We're going to bolt it, but uh, we want to, we, we have it where we think it'll all fit. If we close this up, <laughs> it'll, it'll fit in this spot, but we don't know unless we try it for real, before we drill a bunch of, you know, bolt holes. Anyway, test run. Um, so we found that um, it's the perfect height to work at, and uh, this will have to turn like that in order to be able to close it. We also can cut a 12, you know, usually it's about 12 inches um, board on the chop box, because that's as long as the chop is. Um, I guess if you had to chop something wider and flip it over or whatever, you'd probably just use a, a saw anyway. So, um, figuring all the little things on all the spaces. So once we get all this, the big stuff in, uh, we're gonna, I, we're gonna try to figure out this back area and figure out what to do back there. Call us the get man that drill cave. press. Man cave? No, I'm just kidding. It, it could be man something though. No. Uh, there's too many women that are great carpenters. Could be a woman cave. I'm not, I'm not going the there. The Grunvig cave. <laughs> huh? I'm not going there. Especially going to Maine. There's so many good women carpenters out there.
The Grunvig Cave. <laughs> Alright, it fits. Nice. I see how hard it is. <laughs> It's about and then right when you go, closing. yeah, right, right you, about, you just let go of it, it'll go flying. yeah, and right about there yeah. is hard. So you just got easy, it do it. Easy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. How's the angle and everything? Hmm? How's the angle of cutting and everything? Is it just good? Getting used to? What do you mean? Oh, just because it's kind of different from what you're used to, is it? Or, or is it about the same? Oh, the height? Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Right? Pete's starting to use his shop now. <laughs> her chop box is now in here, so we gotta use it. And so is her bandsaw, so. And her compressor. <laughs> we got a table saw in there, but eventually we'll be using this one. We gotta bolt this. Bolt this to the trailer. <laughs> fun, fun. Need a garbage can here and all these little pieces. Uh, I got one, I'll grab it. Next important thing is your garbage can. Alright. Fan is in. It's perfect. Um, I think we're gonna put that, that table. <laughs> it, I didn't want it. We popped it in, it was just like if it was still, it's like it grew there. Anyways, so there's the fan. <laughs> and then I uh, got the compressor ready to mount, the lathe ready to mount. Hello. Uh, anyway, um, so got to bolt all this stuff down. Pete got the table all bolted down. We got an X brace it still. Um, a lot of little details right now that we're working on. Um, we're going to put the planer right above this fan. It fits perfect for the for us to be able to rip plywood or whatever we need. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's like this is meant to be here. We made this planer thing and plopped it in and it just plopped right in and fit perfectly. Putting a little vice table over here. Just for small things. Instruments. <laughs> Sit down area. Yeah. Let's get a chair in here for you. Okay, I'll grab a chair. <laughs> 